They say from little things, big things grow. Couldn't be more true than here at Ricardo's Tomatoes. Whoa. Ricardo's Tomatoes in Port Macquarie began with a roadside honesty box and grew to become a hugely successful family business. Today, it's still one of Port's most popular tourist attractions. But one thing that has changed to you is that there's two Anthonys now. What's going on, mate? Yeah, no, it's a time for the new generation. So my young son Anthony's uh, come on board and uh, doing a great job. So how are you putting up with the boss, mate? <laughs> oh, he's a bit of a fast boss, <laughs> Yeah, he's all right, though. Yep. He cracks the whip. I actually have noticed a couple of changes since I was here seven years ago. You've got a new strawberry shed down there, I think. Correct. And on the way in, I saw a massive solar array. That wasn't here last time I was here. That's our brand new 52 kilowatt solar farm. We're always you know, trying to do things better here on the farm and um, you know, working towards self-sufficiency with power is one of those things. There's one thing I am keen to do, and that's pick some strawberries. I thought you'd never ask. Tour's about to start, Mike. Let's go. <laughs> The tours kick off in the tomato sheds, where they grow three varieties. But the real draw card at Ricardo's are the strawberries. And there's got to be nothing like picking your own strawberries. A warning, though. Picking strawberries can be addictive. We've got awesome. way more strawberries than what we intended. <laughs> we were going to only get half a kilo, and I think we're going home with a kilo. It's been awesome. But before you hook in, you've got to weigh and pay for your strawberries at Cafe Red. And there's plenty more delicious red food on Cafe Red's menu. Well, how's this for a red feast? Bruschetta, roasted romas, strawberry, but my favourite, strawberry thick soda. The cafe sells the produce grown on site and some very special condiments, including Ricardo's award-winning strawberry jam. And if you want to know how to turn this into this, come with me. Just down the road in Port Macquarie's industrial estate is the other chef, Fine Foods, where they turn Ricardo's strawberries into jam. Eric, Mike. Here we go, mate. Fresh strawberries. Fantastic. Straight in there, Mike. Straight in? Straight in. Yep. Away you go. Oh, you should smell that. Well, what's in there besides the straws? Well, we've got pure, pure vanilla beans. We've got locally cold-pressed lemon juice. Sugar, Australian sugar, which is from Ballina. Yep. Um, and the best strawberries there that's available. Well, I was going to ask you about the quality of the straws. They're the best. And these are Albion's. These are specific strawberries that Ricardo's grows. Would you like to try them, Mike? I've just got a nice little sample for you. Try them. Well, out of here. Straight out. Got a lovely gel, full flavour. <laughs> Together with his wife, Monica, and a small, dedicated team, Eric creates a wide range of condiments. How many other things do you make? We make about 120, Mark, for uh, our own brand, The Other Chef, corporate clients. Light and a Mandala luxury B&B. This only for adults retreat features four bedrooms, each with their own ensuite and private terrace. There's heaps of communal space too that feels just like home. And a deck overlooking the Hastings River, where the nightly sunsets are out of this world. Come morning, your host, Leo and Janelle, will cook you up a delicious home-cooked brekkie. I want to say, unbelievable spot right on the river. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, the mission was, uh, I always wanted to have a better breakfast. Uh, I, I really enjoy cooking, and we enjoy spoiling people. Janelle, the name Anna Mandara is, is what? Man's beautiful refuge. Well, I've got to say, when I was sitting out there on your balcony last night, with a cheese platter and that sunset, I felt very Anamandara, let me tell you. A riverside setting, an awesome host. There's a lot to love at Anamandara. Home-cooked brekkie, on the river, and fresh strawberry. Can't go wrong. Enjoy a weekend in Port Macquarie just over four hours from Sydney. For all the info, head to sydneyweekender.com.au.